This is the United States Military Academy at West Point, where for more than two centuries, cadets have taken part in war games. In the old days, it meant training with horses and cannons. But here in Thayer Hall now, in a makeshift bunker, computer science classes compete in war games that look very different and exemplify the Army's heightened awareness to computer attacks and its effort to train its officers in the art of cyber warfare. At the annual cyber defense exercise last month, a competition among seven military academies, a team of West Point cadets spent four days working around the clock to establish a computer network and keep it operating while expert hackers with the National Security Agency in Maryland played the enemy and tried to infiltrate the cadets' network. We have a semester-long class where we learn all the techniques of, uh, say, a hacker would do, and we try to learn how to beat a hacker. So for this four-day-long exercise, we have each people set up in a certain cyber warfare. We have to set up a network and we have to defend it against bad guys coming in, which is the NSA Red Cell. So uh, to set up this network, we had to have teams go in and, and build the network, and then we have people building services so that it works just like a regular network would, a regular internet. Would. They inspected and blocked various internet addresses, they dealt with infected computers, and they performed prescribed tasks such as retrieving crucial information from partially erased hard drives. Each team was judged on how well it subdued the threats from experts at the NSA, the nation's largest intelligence agency. These cadets, most of whom will soon be sent to Afghanistan to carry out this type of work, competed here to keep their computer network operating as the NSA hackers invaded. The teams are given certain warlike scenarios and expected to perform under pressure against the enemy. They, they get a, an exercise directive from the uh, NSA. So we are playing a joint task force that has gone to Ruritania to help the, the poor Ruritanians against the evil Krasnovians. And, and so here are my Ruritanians uh, on their user workstations. Now these cadets may be the Army's computer geeks, but they're still military men and women, as Cadet Ewing demonstrated here. These cadets are learning some pretty potent hacking techniques, and they are entrusted to adhere to the highest of ethical standards in using them. A lot of people see boots on the ground and think that's just the army, but this is a lot of the background background work. Uh, you have hackers every day trying to get into military uh, files and try to get unauthorized access. And so this is just what happens in the background that no one gets to see about. You'd know when somebody got killed in Iraq or Afghanistan, but you wouldn't know about a hacker exactly getting into certain information or certain services. 